What's up, Reapers? Y'all miss me, man. I know y'all miss me. Don't worry. He ain't, ain't got to come out. I know y'all miss me. Y'all miss the What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, but I'm back, man. You know how, how it goes. Uh, Reapers, man, I had a lot to talk about. Uh, Y'all probably gonna get about four videos this week. Maybe five, depending on how how things turn out. This coronavirus got me bored as fuck. Bored, man. There's nothing to do out here, bro. They closed down the damn bars and the clubs and... So good, but good news is I have finished my book. I know y'all have been listening to my podcast and stuff like that. I'm talking about a little bit having my books coming through and stuff like that, and some of the things coming down the pipeline. And that is all set for y'all. A lot of revisions going on, but within about two to three months, y'all definitely gonna see some copies of that on Amazon and a few other uh, platforms. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Don't even worry about that. But uh, today I wanted to get into a little bit of my relationship uh, talk a little bit. You know, the Reaper mentality kind of encompasses a little bit of everything, whether that be careers, fitness, all that, right? And um, I got a bit of a, <laughs> I got a conundrum here, right? So basically I was talking to some people uh, about cheating, right? Uh, that's like a big theme. If you go on like social media in, in general, Everybody talks about cheating a lot, which, I mean, it makes sense. If you're dating people, you probably got cheated on before. I know I have. I mean, it's just a part of it's just a part of dating almost, to be honest with you. That's something that a lot of people kind of struggle to deal with. So I'm going to go into why I believe different genders cheat. Well, two different genders, female, male. We ain't doing all that extra shit. Anyhow, uh... <laughs> Basically, I'm gonna go into the reasons and where it derives from and stuff like that. And I'm gonna start off with the easier one because I am a dude, you know what I'm saying? Off a good burger. Uh, males. And then we're gonna go into females and a whole nother video. I don't wanna kinda combine everything together. So, first and foremost, even though I just said that, we're gonna make one general statement, right? Cheating is basically an individual who's not satisfied in their relationship finding something else in the other, right? In an affair of sorts. Now, a lot of people's gonna disagree with that. A lot of people's gonna have their own ideas, and I'm basically gonna tell you why I basically think so. So, for one, when it comes to men, right? A man that can uh, fuck other women will. A man that can deal with other females will. It's just, it's, it's the, it is what it is, right? But, what stops that is if a man's in a relationship and he's with a female who isn't perfect, you know, no one's gonna be perfect, but for the most part, fulfills all his mental and physical needs, the chance that that happen is very, very thin. So, start off with, right, let's say you're a dude, right? Let's say that a guy is in a relationship, he's been in a relationship for some time, Right, and let's say his girl mentally doesn't give him the satisfaction that he wants. Right, she says she's really pretty. Go find if any dude out there has dealt with any girl a nine or above. For the most part, they're real pretty, but there's not much else going on. They normally kind of suck at sets, and they're mentally not always enticing to be around. And you don't always have a good time interacting with them. And believe it or not, uh, for a hundred percent all dudes, you know what I mean. People's going to sit there in front and. You know, say their own pieces, but if we keep in the butt, what locks down a dude, especially a dude who deals with a lot of different females, is mental stimulation, right? Somebody who you could talk to, you could hang with. If you talk to any dude right now who has like, uh, who had a long-term girlfriend or anything like that, or a wife at one point, and he's a dude who was just out there, and he was running through hoes, right? And I'm not talking about the dudes who, you know, are kind of simps. Like, they kind of put girls on pedestals. For the most part, they're not even... They're just happy to get whatever they can get. And they can lock it down. So that's why they, they put them on pedestals and stuff like that. When we talking about, like, a, a sexual alpha male, somebody who's just out there and they, they with it, 100%, if you talk to any of them, they're going to be like, she just mentally stimulated me different than anyone else, right? But if you're in a relationship and she's super fine, right? Like, you look at some of these, like, people say, hi to Jay-Z, she and Beyonce. Now, I don't know Beyonce personally, so I can't exactly say why the reason was, but 
as fine as she is, as popular as she is, I'm almost 100% sure that the reason why was because it either was she, her personality lacks in some type of way, which is a bit less, I wouldn't always say that's, that's probable just because how long they've been together, but it's either a personality thing or she just sexually is trash, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, if you've dealt with any type of, I'm talking about any higher caliber woman, like is they, they suck. Like, it's, it's, there's no other way to put it. Like a lot of times they're not very. It, it's, if you're a dude, like most guys can attest to that. So a lot of times that's where the changes come as far as that goes. So going into the next idea, of this is what is it that would prevent a man from cheating? So. Like I said, any type look into beta males versus alpha males. So the last video I was talking about alpha males, uh, that I kind of went over would be an overall alpha male, almost, well, more so of a business alpha male. Somebody who's just, you know, they walk around, they don't take shit from nobody, not gonna, I mean, that's a true alpha male. And we go after our goals as hard as possible. But in a sense, a uh, sexual alpha male is somebody who's never, gonna put a, a woman on a pedestal but that's not because you know they they want them to look down on them or something like that it's just because we're not gonna treat somebody as if they're like better than us right like as if we're not on an equal playing field if anything we're on an equal playing field you're just not gonna bitch me that's just how a bit, uh, alpha male looks at it now, if you're looking at a beta male a beta male is almost never gonna cheat 100 percent. you ain't gotta even worry about a beta male like i said the simps they're putting women on pedestals, they're not gonna, they're just happy to got you, to have your ass. If anything, these are the real clean dudes, you know what I'm saying? They're hanging on for all dear life. You are a beta male, it's not no offense to you, but I'm saying right now, this is what causes women to cheat, and we'll get into that in the next video. But, um, you want a longer relationship, you want to avoid all the, <laughs> you getting your, your tires slashed and all that other crazy shit. For more so, just find somebody that's your, at least somewhat attracted to, and make sure they got a decent personality, man. Don't go out there and try to find these tens and nines, and and you can't talk to their ass for more than ten minutes, but they look good, and you can show them off to your homeboy so you get with them. You know what I mean, have somebody that mentally and physically stimulates you, and that's gonna uh, fix a lot of these problems. So I'm saying right now, it's it's really just a uh, <laughs> if you're not not happy with where you're at, human nature says that you're gonna try to get something better. Right, it's just what part of it. Everybody, uh, they call it hypergamy, right? And males have a hypergamy as well as females do. You're always looking for the better option. And if you mentally feel like you are happy, you're satisfied with the option you have, less likely you are to go out there and find different things. You know, a lot of people want to get into, you know, uh, cheating has nothing to do with your significant other, it's just that person, and that's bullshit. That's, cat <laughs> you know what I'm saying because well I'm not gonna say fully cat like I said if you're a sexual alpha male you're a dog anyway it is what it is you understand know you just making moves more than likely it's gonna just take you being tired of being a dog in order for you to actually not cheat but we all know that's not really the case almost do so but the mindset is group of training Come back to y'all with the female perspective, and we have a lot more going on that we can get into. Y'all be easy. I'm glad y'all tuned in. Like, comment, subscribe.